Hi, it's Sandra and today I'm going to show you how I did this manicure using a Maniology plate, some Maniology sparkles, reverse stamping. To start off with, I ordered this plate. The reason I ordered this plate was obviously because I liked it, but this pattern right here went online, seen 50 greatest nail manicures or whatever. This girl was doing a manicure like basket weave. What she was doing was she was putting nail polish on her mat. She would peel it off when it was dry and she would cut it in strips. She would do, I don't know, I think it was like five or six different colors. She would make these even strips that were exactly the same size and then she would weave it onto her nails. So of course I thought, oh I can do that. Well, it was nothing but a huge mess. I couldn't get the strips even. Then I couldn't get them to stick and blah, 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 blah. It just went on and on. So after messing around with that for hours, I went on Maniology's website and here was this plate. It has almost the same basket weave that she was doing, of course, but it's a stamp, so it's much easier. So I decided that I would do this stamp for you. I am using this basket weave is on M090, and there's lots of cool little stamps on here that I would, I'll probably use over and over again. So it's a really nice plate. Obviously I'm gonna use white to go underneath it, and the white that I have is White on White by China Glaze. Purple that I have on my nails is Essie, and the name of it is, what's the name of it? Tangoed in Love. The other thing that I used was Maniology's Pixie Dust. This came with the July Unicorn Maxi Express box. I wanted to use that as well with the purple, so that's what I have on top of my nails. The first thing I did, obviously, was do my nails, file them, all of the prep, and then I put a base coat on. I painted the two nails that I'm going to put this basket weave on white. The next thing I'm gonna do is actually stamp the basket weave. So I'm gonna use black Maniology stamping polish and get myself a scraper here. And I'm just gonna put this on here. So there's a stamp. And as usual, Maniology's plates are awesome. There's no problems with stamping. They come out nice and clear. Every line shows up. Great stamping plates. Don't forget, if you order from Maniology, to use my code NS10, and it'll be at the bottom. Okay, so I did that. Now what I would probably do normally is do two of these at a time, so that way I could paint everything all at one time but because I'm doing the demonstration I will do it one at a time so you can at least see how to do this. These are the colors I used. Uh, this is my little quartz rock that I like to use that I got from Maniology. On my nails I started off with the corner. I did that in orange and I decided that I would do like the rainbow colors because I love rainbows not to make a political statement just because I like rainbows. So I'm going to start off with orange. With this I'm going to use my brush because it's pretty big areas that I have to color in. So I'm going to start off with the orange. Move this over here. And I can see by this one that the orange is also from, let's see, it would be one, two, one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four. So on the fourth one, I'm going to do an orange. And I just have a combination of uh, different brand polishes. I just picked the ones that, the colors that I wanted. And this particular one that I'm using right now is just a Sally Henson. It's Sun Kissed. So that's the two oranges. Then I'm going to go to my red. And I really like this red. It is by OPI. And it's called, oh, what is it called? The Thrill of Brazil. So that's the red that I'm using. Some red on here. And the red goes on this side. So I'm putting red here. The red goes one, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it goes here. And actually, I actually did this on the wrong side, the red. So it's going to be different than the other one. And then I've got the next one on the other side is yellow. So I'm going to use yellow. The particular yellow that I have is again by OPI. And this color is called I Just Can't Cope Cabana. And 
And remember, when you're doing this reverse stamping, you really want to make sure that you've got enough paint on your brush that you don't smear the, the lines. Yeah, it looks pretty good from the back. I need some more red than this one. Oh, I might not have enough. I'll put a little bit more red down here. So that's red. Next one I'm going to do is the light blue. And this color is it's by Essie and it's Bikini Sotini. And the blue goes right under the yellow. Next color I'm going to do is the dark purple. And the dark purple is made by Essie and it is called Tangoed in Love. Next color is green. And I'm going to, this is Sally Hansen Hard as Nails and this one is called Limestone. Next one is dark blue. The one I'm using is Pacific Blue by Sally Hansen Extreme Wear. Okay, so that looks good. So I'm going to put that aside and let that dry. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint my nails the purple, which again is this Essie. So I'm an extremely messy fingernail painter. So here we go. And this, like, it doesn't say it on here, but this is actually like a flat colored paint, which kind of surprised me which is not a big deal because obviously I'm going to use top coat anyway and all this glitter. So, so it still looks good though. But I really like the color. I like the dark color. Paint it on that finger. This finger. And pinky. And when we get into this Pixie Ducks Dust by Maniology, it is, it flies all over the place. So make sure that you sit back so you don't breathe too hard because it just goes all over the place. So I'm gonna let that dry for a couple minutes and then I'll do a second coat and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got all that done. Two coats of the purple and I'm all set to proceed. I'm going to use my smudge free top coat maniology and I'm just going to and you can see how this Essie purple dries like I don't know if you can tell but it dries like a flat color so I'm just gonna put the top coat maniology smudge free top coat on here and on the other two purple nails Let those dry a little bit because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pixie dust on there. And the way Maniology suggests that you do it is by using your stamper and putting it on with the stamper. One of the things about using powders or pixie dust with, stamp with your stampers is eventually the stamper head will get cloudy from rubbing the pixie dust and powders into it. So just pick, you don't want to pick a brand new stamper to, well you can, because it doesn't turn cloudy right away. It takes a while before it does. But you just need to be aware of that. 
here's the stamper I'm going to use, and this is just the big one. I think originally this is a queen base, and I had my husband drill out the bottom because it was getting cloudy. So I'm going to use this one for the pixie dust. So here is the pixie dust from Maniology. And again, this is something that is really, really airborne. So I'm going to try to open this carefully. And I am going to take the little eye pencil, which they give to, they give you. And you can see this stuff already just from taking the lid off, it got on my nail. So you want to be really careful. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to rub this on here. And you want a spot, obviously, that's as big as your nail. And the reason I put the base coat on or top coat on my nails was so that it is kind of tacky so that this stuff will stick. All right, that should be big enough for my nail. Let's see, my thumbnail. I could go a little bit more. So let me get a little bit more in here. All right, that should be good. Just flip it over. And like I said, I have the top coat on there, so it's kind of tacky, so this stuff will stick. And I'm just going to press it on there. And there you go. It's a really pretty accent to your nails. I'm, I, and if you miss a spot or you want to add more, as long as your nails are still kind of tacky, it should come off. Okay. So there's that one. And I'm going to do the other one. First, I'm going to take off this stuff. The residue. I'm just going to use a piece of tape. You can also use your lint brush. You can see the stuff flying around. It just flies everywhere. All right, and I'm going to put a little bit more my Maniology Sticky Base Coat, and I'm going to put some of that on there because I think my nails are already drying a little bit. So I'm just going to put just a thin layer of this on and then just let it dry. If you put anything on there too quickly, what will happen is it will just look like a big smudge. So put that on and let that dry a little bit. And then I'm going to do the same procedure. I'm going to take All right. Let's make sure that I got a big enough spot. Eh, that's pretty good. So I'm going to take this, press it on there. Looks like I kind of missed right here. So I'm just going to take this and hopefully. Get it on here, the side. Okay, I think it gives it a really nice effect. It almost it looks like the um, powders, but you don't. I think the powders work better with the U with polishes, the gel polishes with the UV light. So this this little these little flakes are really neat. So I got one more to do. I'm gonna do my pinky. since I'm into this stuff and it's so messy. So I'm just gonna take and put some Maniology Sticky Base Coat. Just kinda like dry brush it practically. You just want a little bit of a layer on there so that your stuff will stick. Don't have to use much. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry a little bit. Take my tape. 
get the residue off. I do think this is a great way to apply this too, using your stamping, your stamper to do it. Okay, so now I've got the pinky and that's a little teeny area, so I don't have to have a whole lot of this on my stamper. That should be good. I could use a little bit more. See how this stuff just, it just floats away. It's very strange. All right, put this on. And there you go. All right, so I'm done with the pixie dust. Okay, so there you go. I have my pixie dust on. Next thing I would do is just put on the Maniology top coat and those are done. Next one is these white nails with my stamps. So my stamps are completely dry and you want them to be completely dry, otherwise they smudge. So I'm going to use, again, the Sticky Maniology Sticky Base Coat. And by the way, underneath this I had just a, one coat of base coat and one coat of the white. You don't need a whole lot of white. You just want the image to pop. So I'm going to take my sticky base coat. I'm only going to do it one at a time, one finger at a time. Put this on, let it dry for a little. And I like to do the edge too, so that way it sticks on the edge. Let that dry for a few minutes. And then I did do another stamp. So I have two of them here for my two nails. And I got these stampers from Maniology, and I got them for free because I had ordered something that they came with and what I find really interesting is this one is very is a very very firm stamp and I have problems with this one because it's so firm when I go from the real soft one to the firm one I have to do 10 stamps before I finally figure out how to do the use the firm one again and this one that I got is really squishy and, and sticky and I prefer this one I don't, I was, I watched a video on somebody was saying that these real firm stick uh, stampers are really good for if you do any kind of lines because when you do lines, when you stamp lines, you'll find that they get wavy and it can be really irritating if you have, you're supposed to be doing straight lines and they come out all wavy. So they had said that if you use the firmer stamper, then they won't come out wavy. And I did use the firm stamper and they were absolutely right. So I think the firm stamper is cool. I think it has its purpose, but I think that switching back and forth, you just have to, at least I do, I have to remember how to use it. And I do think the firm stamper, I think the firmer the stamper, the lighter the touch on picking up the stamp. You'd think it would be the opposite, but it's the light touch that really picks up the stamp. This one I didn't get the whole stamp and it didn't matter anyway because the my nail is not that long. Okay, so I'm gonna use, put on the stamp and I, I think both of them. Eh, that one, let's see. Let this one work on this one. Yeah, so we're gonna put the this one on my middle finger. All right, so I have my sticky base coat and I want this to go this way. And the big, the thing that you wanna do is make sure that with this stamp is that you wanna make sure that you try to get it as much in the center as possible or at least get as much on each of the sides as possible because otherwise if you're short, you're gonna see the white and it's really gonna be noticeable. I did do that on one of the, my fingers, I got too far to one side and part of my white was showing so I went in with a fine brush and fixed that so you couldn't see the white. Okay so here is my stamp. I'm going to go down as far as I can. I'm going to try and get it so that both sides will be covered well. So let's see. Right. So 
I did pretty good. You still can see I didn't get it all the way on this side. There's a little bit of white. So I'll do a touch up brush with that. And what I like to do is once I get the stamp on there, I like to take my little dotting tool and I just like to go around the edge so that when I go to remove it, the part that's on my nail stays on my nail. Okay. Take my acetone. Now I'm going to fix the side. I'm going to again take my quartz and I'm going to need some probably a little bit of blue, green, and orange. So let's do the light blue. And yeah, use my little brush here. I don't, I got this brush at Sally Beauty Supply. I just went in there and picked out a very small brush and I've been using it ever since. And Maniology sells um, very small detail brushes too so you can get those off there. So that's it. Next thing I would do is use my Maniology Smudge Free Top Coat on the nail I just finished and the other three. And all I'm gonna do is put on the next stamp and we're all done. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and don't forget to use my Maniology discount code of 10% if you're going to order some supplies from Maniology. It's NS10. Thanks for watching. Bye.